Good morning, welcome back, or welcome if you're new here. Today we are at Chopmore Morning Market. Now I am not a morning person, so the first thing on my mind is getting a little bit of coffee, but other than that, it looks really local, really exciting, really fun, really compact and quite small. So we'll see what we can get in there, but I'm really excited. There it is. So let's go explore. Yeah, it is. Oh, and banana. Oh, and banana. Uh huh. Yeah, ten baht. Thank you. Okay. So there is a lot of uh, market here, which is really, really cool. And there's everything. There's not only food. Oh, sorry. Ah, there's not only food, but there was like washing powder. We walked past and I saw these things, and I don't really know what they are. And I asked, and um, she couldn't tell us, which is fine. Um, but we were like, yeah, why not? Let's try it. So we have these to try. Um, 20 baht, I'm pretty sure. She said sweet. She said, yeah. I was like, sweet, and she was just like, yeah. So we'll see. We'll see what those are. I'm not sure. And then, yes, I need coffee. <laughs> yes, I need coffee. We have coffee. Have a espresso again. My one. Chai ka. Very good. <laughs> Perfect. I'm excited. I need um. I need some coffee. But we got those, and then we also got one of these, which we haven't tried before yet. It's the sticky rice with like a banana on the inside. So I really want to try that. I haven't done that yet. We get to the outside of this market and have it. I think it's really. Yeah, I can't market. really have them here. There's, I don't want to be in everyone, everyone's way. So we'll get a few things and then we'll go try them outside. I think. Excellent. Yes, I got my coffee. I'm so excited. Let's see what else there is. So I'm not sure if you can hear, but there's a group of monks back there. They chant, I guess, and I think what happens is that they get donations um, just to fund their work and everything from everyone. The Port Arms, they're basically ALMS. They're asking the the community will help pay for their work and fund and like fundraise for the for the um, temple and for like them to have food and to look after the dogs and look after the community and those sorts of things. So everyone will give a couple of baht and then. All give them food and then off they go. I don't know where to go. Straight. Straight. So it looks like we're heading now into more of the like wet sort of market area of it where there's like fish and seafood and I see prawns. All of those good stuff down there. I think that's crabs. Pretty yes, sure. Crabs, crabs. Fish. What? I've never, crabs. I've never seen a crab. Not in real life anyway. Are you one no so So we walked through the whole thing and now we're at the end and there's like this big road down here with absolutely no sidewalk whatsoever <laughs> but we thought that we would try these things before we keep going um, just because it's really hard to stop in there every it's just kind of like one lane of traffic <laughs> so we might eat these and then we'll go back for a couple of other things what do you think we should get i haven't seen a lot of durian she had, she had a lot of them and there are lots of like old thai ladies gathered around her which okay. is full durian so we have to see if she'll if she'll chop it up for us she might have just been chopping up the durian to show those ladies what it was like so they could buy two or three. Oh, that's so cool is it Coffee. I love it here. Ah, oh, it's good. I love coffee. Someone told me in my comments to say uh, my one for no sugar, and it's been working every time. So <laughs> mm, that's a good coffee. Thirty-five baht. Mm, mm. Okay, let's get down to business. <laughs> oh, it's <in> my bag. <laughs> I have it. <laughs> okay, so first, I really want to try the sticky rice with the banana. So let's try that one. Not sure how to really open it, but it's cool. It's wrapped up in this sort of, what is it, banana leaf? In like a banana leaf. Um, and I'm assuming there's sticky rice in there with a banana in there as well. All right, I have to like twist this to open it. I've never had anything like this or. It smells very like banana. Oh. I say that noise every time. Yeah. That's it. That's, yeah, I like that. No, I, no, I do. But it's, it's not what I expected it to taste like. I expected it to taste like, like a full-on banana. But it doesn't. It tastes. I 
can't describe it. It tastes different. I don't know. I like it. It tastes like banana and sweet. There's no like bad taste or bad aftertaste to that at all, but it's um interesting. It's very interesting. I can't really put my finger on what it's like. Is that the banana in the middle? Yeah. I'd assume that's the banana. Very yeah, sticky. I, so. <laughs> I don't know what it is. Oh. I don't know what's in that. I'm not sure what's in the middle of that. Is it nice? It's not bad. The outside tastes like um like a crispy cream glazed donut. Oh I got a oh I'm getting a taste of what's on the What it's is a, this? It's a little bit like hot in my mouth. Like it's a little bit like I wanna say spicy, but you're gonna get angry at me because I say everything's spicy. It's a bit spicy. You might it's What is that? A curry? Mm -hmm. It's a bit spicy. All right, so now we're gonna go back and walk through again because it was so busy the first time and we couldn't really like stop to pick anything else. All right, let's go have a look. So we aren't gonna get the durian because she was only um, giving like full durians out um, for sale. Um, but, ooh, we are now walking through. You can see kind of the busyness <laughs> of it here. Can I put something out very quickly? You can. This market so friendly. They're all looking at us and smiling and like, yeah. oh, here. They really I, are. I don't feel unwelcome at all. Like sometimes you do in some local market. Yeah. I feel like awesome. Yeah. Everyone's really happy to see us. Yeah. And saying hello and but there's lots of fruit. There's so much fruit. Look at all this. That's crazy. And you've got all of this road just down here. Look. Basically all the markets in Thailand, they already pre-make meals like whether it's like chicken or pork or chicken basil or something and then you just buy the meal from like the bain marie um, but there's so much fresh i know i said this before there's so much fresh produce as well there's mountains and mountains of green fresh delicious looking produce and you have all your, like your fish it's like cut up and you've got chili <laughs> do you see that and you've got full fish you have full-on meats flowers can someone tell me what these flowers mean? I don't know if you can see what they mean. I see them at all the markets and I'm not sure. But we're kind of out the front now, so we've walked the whole way twice. <laughs> And I think that's taro. I think that's chocolate. That might be custard or lemon or something. I think lemon. That's not really flavor. Yeah, true. How much? Ten bucks. Ten? Ten? Oh, how much? How much? Twenty bucks. 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 Twenty Twenty bucks. Twenty Okay. Thank Good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Alright, so you have Tongo as well. So we have these little things. I'm not sure what they are. It was a pack of five for 40 baht. One of them's purple, two of them are yellow, one of them and the other two are like white with like some kind of like sesame seed or something on the top. Oh, I don't really like it. It's um, like uh, like the mochi, mochi texture kind you of. Try a different flavor. Um, you might actually like. Yeah, I, I've realized lately that when I first got here, I really loved taro, and lately I kind of mm. don't anymore. You like it? Yeah, I know you like it. That flavor is nicer to me, um, but I think the texture is like a little bit too dry. I think for me, not for me, not for me. Normal patongo. Good as always. You can't go wrong with them. You can't. I think just have it for breakfast, it's super easy. Oh, they're one of the best to have. They're really good. It's really crispy. Yeah. This is a really good one. And then this was, I think, the more sweet ones. We had it at the Siriwatonga market. Was it that one? And she was telling us that these are more sweet than the other ones. Yeah, they are. Siriwatonga. Oh, what was it? Watana. Siriwatana, sorry. <laughs> In case you didn't hear him because the microphone's facing me, he said, This is so good. <laughs> 
couldn't tell us what flavour were, which is totally fine, but it looked like one was corn, one was taro, one was chocolate, and one was, I think, custard, maybe, maybe. Custard, maybe. Yeah. Looks like fillings on the inside, and you get like a little pancake -y thing on the outside, which is pretty cool. Taro. Is it? I'll finish it. Yeah. He loves taro. It's not chocolate. Is it sweet potato? It tastes like a sweet potato type thing. Yeah. Cool. Guys, I'm so full. I hope it's custard. <laughs> what else could it be? I don't know. Lemon curd. Yeah. Custard. Is it good? Yeah. Yeah. I love I love me. I'm a plain simple gal. I like me some custard. That's yummy. We were taking a thumbnail, which you have to do. It's a and Josie was like, I wanna tell the Patongo guy that it was Ari Mark, it was delicious. And I and then I, and I said to Josie, there's his like his stall, he's not he's not there. There's his stall, he's not there. So Josie turned to the next stall. Which was a different person. I didn't know he was and different. Said, I thought. Oh, I'm And then the old mate was just like, the guy, the guy was just like, oh, okay, thanks. <laughs> it wasn't the guy who made the paton guys. It was a anyway. different guy. Okay, so we are heading now to the MRT to go home, but we're going home to pack. So make sure you like and subscribe because the next video is going to be us moving, where we're moving to, what our plans are, all that, all that good stuff. So make sure you put your notification bell on, like and subscribe so you don't miss that one, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! This guy on my scooter. Street dogs, I love them. <laughs>